Good morning. It is Thursday. Time for our video follow through. And I'm, when you think of freedom, and we're talking about freedom all week, do you normally think of laws? Right? Is that the first thing that comes to your mind? Like regulations, commands, commandments? Is that what you think of when you think of freedom? No, we think of fun, right? We think of, of uh, you know, having a good time. We think of kind of throwing caution to the wind. And that's what it means to be free. No one's going to tell me what I'm going to do. But is that freedom? We've been asking that question all week long. Is that really what God is talking about here? Let's look at James chapter 1, see what he says. In verse 25, we read that the one who looks into the perfect law, there, there, there's a great description of it, the law of liberty, and, and perseveres, being no hearer who forgets, but a doer who acts, he will be blessed in his doing. So what James is saying is there's no better way to live. There's no better way to just be totally free and have your soul set free by looking at what God calls us to do, to love our neighbor, right? To, to help those in need, to, to look at those who are oppressed, to look at those who are downtrodden, to look at those who need us and to go to them and, and, to, and to help them in their physical, right? But also in their, in their spiritual and all the other dimensions of their life and just help them. That person is blessed as he acts on God's word. He's also blessed when he looks at the word and sees his failures, right? Sees his shortcomings, see how he has failed and is reminded of who he is, reminded that he needs God desperately, but then responds in faith and says, yes, Lord, I, I need you, please forgive me. See, again, that person sees the law differently. Their hearts change, their mind is changed, and now they see that law is perfect, that law is as actually providing liberty. And, and, it, and, and again, it's tough. Because again, he adds in here that the person who does all that and perseveres, because it's not easy, because the world's going to tell us, even our hearts are going to tell us something different. They're going to lie to us. They're going to say, don't look in that mirror. Like, don't look into that, because it's going to make you feel bad. And God's going, look, this isn't about making you feel bad. This is about the truth. And sometimes that's brutal. But his good news is so great and so amazing. And God says that we'll be blessed. And I don't know about you, but I want, I, I want everyone in this world to be blessed. And it comes from his truth, comes from his law, and that perfect law of liberty. So let's spend today sharing that and, and letting people know, because that's where the blessed life comes from. Have a great day, and we'll talk to you tomorrow with another video follow-through.